I'm Mohamed Magani. I am a fiction writer from Algeria. Uh, I also teach at the university, which I'm going to quit this year to devote myself entirely to writing. I have authored something like 15 books, mostly novels in French, and also I have tried my hand at writing uh, short short stories in English. I know Pan Vlander for a long time and they know me also for a long time. Uh, this is my third time here as a guest writer and I'm quite lucky I mean, to be here for a third time because I, I like also Antwerp, really. It's a city which is becoming dear to me uh, and I like uh, having peace and time here and, and to write and, and to be in a place I already know, you know. When you are writing, you know, going to places, unknown places, it takes time to know the place and it's sometimes a waste of time. But, uh, but here, it's, this, this is done. I mean, uh, I can devote myself to writing, to spend time writing. I uh, joined Penn late, late, late but uh, really at the, the, the dark moments in my country. I mean, the, through the 90s, through the, 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 the violence over there and so on. So, uh, and realized that uh, of all the branches, if you want, walks of life, the writers were the alone, completely abandoned in the, during that period, in the 90s, compared to, say, journalists, for example, who were helped worldwide. So uh, this is how the idea of forming a pen, uh, pen center in Algeria came to my mind. And I must say also, apart from that, it's, uh, I know that I found the sense of solidarity very present in Penn International uh, with writers, with, with the writers and intellectuals who uh, form it. Uh, so I started thinking about setting up or forming uh, an Algerian pen. Uh, we managed with a group of friends, uh, Algeria, Algerian writers, to set up uh, a pen, uh, pen Algeria. Uh, when I, w I went back to Algeria in the, the year 2000. So uh, we started working there. We managed to launch some activities like reading and so on, conferences and so on. But the trouble in, the, in my country is that the, still up to now we haven't been given official registration. And this is terrible. So a sense of uh, despair has reached uh, writers and so on. Because for really many years we have tried hard to get the... So we, they allow you to function. But you can't do much. You can't even find a place where to meet. I, we used to, to meet at, in, 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 in libraries, for example, uh, from France. Uh, uh, so we functioned like this for several years. And little by bit, we, we found the, the difficulty of not, not having the re official registration. You cannot uh, go far further. So, uh, but it's still there. I mean, uh, there are still... Uh, people who know that the pen exists and so on, though the activities are, have uh, listened, uh, you know, much less than the, in the, fir the, the first years of its creation. So my latest novel is uh, a diptych, uh, as they say in French, uh, that is to say it's a novel in, in two parts. But uh, in terms of the content, it's all about one guy who spent the most horrendous uh, day of his life I mean, can you imagine he is surrounded, besieged by a whole city. He does not understand why he is put in jail and why the whole city is after him. So the only way out for him it was uh, memory. Try to understand. So in a sense, this novel in two parts is a, a question of memory, of memory against confinement, against, uh, you know, absence of freedom.